Hey guys, it's Tiny Tom Logan back with another video for you and today we're going to be taking a look at a Corsair case, the 600C to be exact. Now it seems like such a long time since I've actually got to say a Corsair case but finally they've remembered how to make them and they've brought us something new and very unique to look at as well because it's inverted. The motherboard's upside down and it's all kind of on the wrong side so it's a very kind of niche sort of case. Uh, it's going to be coming in £119.99, so it did basically 120 of your very best British beer tokens it's going to take to make this your own. Now, what we need to work out today is, should you be spending all those beer tokens on a case like this or not? So let's get on with it and I'll stop wasting your time. Okay, so the case is actually very understated and minimal looking. Uh, you've got a, it's not black, it's like a gunmetal grey anthracite, graphite probably be a good Corsair word to use, um, steel fronted uh, case and you, it goes round to the um, top as well. But again, no, uh, no vents, no dust filters, nothing to be seen very very minimal and we do have the io on the left hand side on this side which will give you a better look at in a moment when i move the case around but the only real thing to point out from this angle is the little door for the front and i love this double hinge it's a strange engineering type of nerdy thing but i love it and it's only just because they they're not hinged it right on the outside it's hinged ever so slightly further in but it does mean that when it's on and closed, it is very uh, well hidden, really, because sometimes these doors on the front of cases can be a little bit more blatant than they should be. Um, but this is all kind of nice and understated. There's nice magnetic bits on the other side of the doors. There is some uh, sound deadening material on this side. One thing I will say, though, is when, is it, when it does close, um, uh, there's no uh, room around the back at all. It sits very flush with the front. So if you're one of those people that uses uh, like dials on your uh, fan controller, if you still use optical bay uh, fan controllers, then it's not really going to be, um, well, you, not, not really, you wouldn't be able to use it at all because it does sit very close up to the front um, and there is no room there at all. If you're going to be using an optical bay, then obviously that'll be fine. Or if you're going to be, uh, you know, anything that sits flush will be perfectly fine. Anything that protrudes won't be uh, able to be used at all. No real need to keep going round and round in circles, is there, Thomas? Okay, so because of the limited height of my, <laughs> my tripod, sort of putting the case on the floor, this is the best view that I can give you. So this is your I.O. on the left hand side of the top panel. We've got the reset button, two USB 2s, two USB 3s, headphone, microphone, then we've got a three stage fan controller here as well. This is your hard drive activity light and then you've got a uh, power light as well. And as I've just flicked the switch, you can see that it does light up white, which is all kind of nice and funky and minimal and kind of in keeping with the style of the case. This would normally be the side that we would see a window, but this is the back panel where it is an inverted case. But one of the things we can see from this angle is you have a good amount of vents at the front and this is the front airflow for the case. There are vents on both sides which I will show you. The top three sections are blocked off because that is where the uh, door opens up. So on the bottom of the case as we move swiftly on, if I pull this off, this is a magnetic dust filter. Very very simple to remove. It literally it does have uh, some little locating uh, points but there's no rails or anything like that. But you can see an almighty amount of uh, fan uh, mounts here, 120 and uh, 140 millimeter fans. And you can see that there are sliders as well. So, that, so if you've got different AIOs or you wanted to uh, move the location of the fans around, you can do. One thing I will say though, is uh, I've got the H110 GT, that's the uh, Cool It cooler fitted. It's actually the one that I prefer out of the range as well. That literally can only be fitted in this exact location. When we get on the inside, it can't be slid around and moved at all, which I thought was a bit disappointing considering the amount of uh, what would appear as a, a adjustment that could be had with the case. This one, literally, it's right on the very end here. And then when we look on the other end, um, uh, it comes up here, but because of the way it, where it's located on the inside, it's pushed up as very far as it can do, and it literally 
only goes on in that one spot. If you were to be using the H100i GTX, then you would uh, probably be able to have a little bit more play around and you know decide whether you wanted it further to the front, further to the black, and move it around. With this specific one, Sod's Law, it was the one that I chose for the build. It's uh, very specific on the actual mounting point, but it goes in nonetheless. Wouldn't have been that long ago that we wouldn't have had a choice at all. So, round to the business side of the case. Now, compared to normal cases, this is going to be the opposite side. So, please do keep that in mind when you're going to be purchasing this because it's going to be need to go. If you've got a normal layout case, it's going to need to go on the other side of your monitor or the other side of your desk. Now, big, large window, and I love it. It makes me think of the 760T, and that was one of my favourite cases that Corsair have ever designed. And one of the things that you can see by putting my hand there is that the window goes right to the edge and it does it right to the back as well. It's lovely. It does have the cover on the top but that's where the hinge is so it's just helping to keep the hinge hidden both top and bottom. But it's an almighty window. It is slightly smoked and it does mean that it does keep it all looking quite stealthy massively massively shiny so you can see the absolute bomb site that's in my office at the moment but for the regulars out there there will be little hints coming as to why things are a little bit upside down at the moment later on but anyway staying on topic for those that really don't give a monkeys about my personal life and what's going on at OC3D you can see that we got vents like I said to you before on both sides now I'm going to show you on the uh uh behind the panel because we're going to take the panel off so that you can have a look have a look on the back panel and then we'll also get a look on the inside so with the front panel pulled off and it quite literally does just pull off as well it's nice and simple we've got uh, the two optical bays visible at the top but then we have the dust filter which is quite simply removable very simply removable and then you exposes the 240 millimeter fans in the front that come fitted when I did get the case though, uh, the fans, I've had to turn them around because of the cables. Uh, and uh, they were, the, the cables were at the top, which if for a normal user you take it out and then you build it and you don't think about it, the cables are, are very, very visible. I think they should be around the other side so they can be easily routed. Even from the factory, I think these have come the wrong way round. So I don't know whether it's something uh, that just needs to be rectified in the assembly or whether mine was just done by mistake. But this is something I wouldn't say is up to the normal Corsair standard. It's a very minor thing. All you need to do is just uh, flip them round so that the cables are literally on the exact other side to where they are so that you can uh, route them easier and hide the cables. Because the only cables we want to see are very, very well hidden ones. Mi minimal cables as possible. But anyway... 240 millimeter fans in the front and these fans are ridiculously uh, um, good performing ones um, for uh, noise as well they don't make a lot of noise at all and silence seems to be something that Corsair are pushing a lot more and more lately the power supplies are just practically inaudible even when the fans are running but that's when the fan anyway we're going off topic so very good fans in the front but if you did want to remove them, there's a gazillion uh, other mounts and points here. Now you can see that we've got uh, marks here that just basically means that you've got, uh, like down at the bottom here, um, that you've still got airflow there, but you do have the mounts to be able to put 120 millimeter fans in there if you wish as well. Moving round to the back side of the case. Now I could spend an entire afternoon cable routing uh, to make things look all super tidy but to be honest with you when you have to take them apart pretty much straight away afterwards um, it gets a bit soul destroying in the end and also uh, it's not a very good representation because this is probably what most systems are going to look like I've tried to make it look a little bit tidy but I've not gone completely overboard anal about it so power supply in the uh, top over here and you can see that you've got the gap behind here between the optical base as well now optical base generally will hang out a little bit more so if you do fit one in there and it's a proper optical bay then you're probably going to find that your cabling might get a little bit tight i don't have one haven't used one for years so it doesn't really matter for me now one of the things that we can see straight away, and I've uh, grabbed a solid state drive to be able to show you as well, is we have got some uh, solid state drive mounts and there are three of them back here. You can screw them, remove them if you want as well, but they are there for you. 
people out there now said, oh, we can't afford solid state drives and everything, Tom, so we need to be able to put our normal mechanicals in. Well, that's covered too, because up here, and these are also removable if you don't want them there, you can have the, uh, there's a pair of these at the top. I'm trying to get it in past the cables. Ah! I've dragged the cable in. There we go. Right, so, yes, fit. Back in, Thomas. Am I dragging cables in? Yes. See, look, this is not going well. There we go. Move them down, move them out of the way. Uh, it's just where I've been trying to keep things tidy. Obviously, once they're in there, you're not really going to have to touch them again. So you've got one there, and then there's another mount here as well. There is a grommet here as well, but we've got two uh, mechanical 3.5 inch drives being able to be mounted up here, and then you've got these here as well. Now, you can fit solid state drives in these ones if you want as well. So you've got mix and match, you can move it all around. You've got three grommets down the side, which you'll be able to see better when we get round to the motherboard side of the case. But there is a good uh, 20 millimetres of room between the back of the motherboard tray and the outside of the door. And you can see, like I said, you can see that you've got the big 24 pin here. I've, I hadn't um, uh, like zip tied anything down or anything like that. Now, zip tie mounts, there, right? there is one here, there is one here, one here. And there's another one hidden underneath this uh, solid state drive mount. Out of all of them that are here, if you're not going to use them, this would be the one I would remove and it would help you keep your cables tidier. So if you're not gonna have a big batch of them in there and you've maybe got one or two, remove this one. That's a little bit of a uh, builder's tip for you. When we get to the cable tidying down the bottom, the bottom ones are not grommeted at all, but if you're gonna run an AIO or some fans in the bottom, you're probably not gonna notice it anyway. Again, we will see that when we go around the flip side. There are more zip tie mounts up here that you can see. There are actually some right down this side as well. So. Quick recap, two mechanicals, three solid state drives, uh, lovely big uh, backplate cutout area here, two ungrommeted areas down the bottom for fan cables, three grommeted areas down the side for things like your PCI Express and your 24 pin and all that type of stuff. There's another grommeted area there. Uh, and now it's time to go round and look, see what the inside looks like. Now, round to the business. Uh, side of the case. We are slightly anchored down, but if you keep your eyeballs on that, it happens the same at the top. You can lift the uh, side panel off very much like the 760T. Now, we have got the uh, H110i GT in the bottom, and as I said to you, that it, was at, it was in the exact up point, you know, the point that we could get it to, and that's how it would look. It does look really nice when it's lit up down there, but like I said, it might have been nice if you could have had the opportunity to have been able to slide it backwards and forwards or have spun it round if you'd wanted to as well. But with things like the H100i GTX, H100i, or even one of the normal 120 millimeter ones, you'll have a lot more options of where you can actually locate it. It can go in though, that's just how you have to do it. So uh, you've got the uh, fans in the bottom, which are dust, pardon me, dust filtered, should you want to uh, have them as intakes. I've got them as um, exhausts. We've got the fan in the back, the two fans in the front. Obviously it's inverted, so we can see our, the top of our graphics cards. It's something that comes up quite a lot, that it's a shame that graphics cards are the, uh, um, mounted the way that they are, because you don't get to see how pretty they are on the other side, with this case that you do. Just depends how annoying it's gonna be that like this lights up and it's the wrong way round. But anyway, so when we get to the top, you've got the blanked off area, which keeps everything tidy. Now that can be removed. This section here is uh, two screws at the back. This version section here, you can get it off. You have to give it a bit of a tug, but it does come off and that's what it exposes can be a little bit fiddly to get it back on, but I'm not gonna bore you with that. So that's back on. Now, I do need to kind of really rejig the camera a little bit, but essentially, uh, the so the power supply is here. And if I zoom you in a little bit, you can see that that's where the vents are for the power supply as well. Now, I know I'm gonna have to explain, a lot of people are now gonna go, heat rises, the power supply is gonna get used as an exhaust fan. Now, one thing that you guys do need to realize is when you've got a, uh, your power supply, a lot of people seem to think it competes for air with things like your graphics card. Don't even consider your power supply as part of the ventilation for your case. Just ignore it. 
essentially now, especially with the power supply like this, I'm using one of the uh, RM1000i's in this, and it, it's just the, an RMI. Now, the fans hardly spin nowadays because they're so efficient and they don't have to. Um, and when they do spin, they hardly spin at all. It's just a case of giving it a mild bit of airflow. Now, if you've got an RMI, you can monitor temperatures. I have done with this, and the difference between it being um, this way round in this kind of configuration, and maybe something in a more generic sort of case, you might get about two or three degrees warmer just because of the natural way that the air will try and uh, come up and out through the power supply. But that's not a massive problem nowadays because power supplies, just at least decent ones like the RMIs now, they just don't run hot anymore. So if you, if you see someone online absolutely flapping about it, just try and calm them down a little bit. Maybe they need a Valium. Maybe they need to just go and have a, a cup of tea and five minutes chill. But this isn't something to go losing your mind over. It's, it's basically overthinking. So I'm going to leave that there with you. I would be more than happy to have run this like this. And uh, when I test it, this is a, um, a 980 tie matrix. As you can see, it's not a blower fan, so it dumps all the, the air inside. And then we've got, um, this is an i7 as well, although that is venting out. The power supply uh, hardly ever even span at all, and it was probably a good 15, 20 minutes before the power supply fan even kicked in, and then it was hardly going. And it wasn't like pumping air out the back that would melt your fingers or, you know, starting to like disintegrate space time or anything like that. It was just a very slight um, uh, spin on the fan and that was it just let the heat from the power supply out, which it wasn't hot at all, it was just a bit of warmth. So I'm just trying to calm you down with this. The most important thing with this case though, while we're at this angle, if we come back a little bit, is it does all look lovely and understated. All the blacks in this kind of work, the only real colour that we've got is a little bit of red on the board and then the, the copper or the bronze that you can see on the graphics card there. The putting the door on just helps accentuate matters more. I think it would love uh, a white LED fan hidden up inside here to light things up a little bit better, but that's obviously something for you guys to do in the end. But it does all look very slick and understated. It's a very stealthy looking case out of the box. Uh, with the gun metal, I could see a, a nice uh, matte black or a black version of this one uh, finding its way through as well. And I've just noticed that I've not given that a, a good enough uh, nudge. But it's really now, I, I do need to break into the conclusion, especially where you can see me dancing. <laughs> yeah, enough time. Right then, on to the conclusion, even though I've just filmed half of it before, but I forgot to press record because I'm such a pro. Right, so, the, uh, and look, see, look, that's, I was filming before. So we need to go back in, put that on. Right, so, ha ha, yes. So I am gonna be pulling that off again in a minute. You'll see. Right. Uh, first things first, the award, and I'm going to give it the OC3D Gold Award, but let me explain all of the ifs, ands and buts, because I know there are going to be people shouting at the screen about certain aspects of the case that they don't think are right and they don't like. Essentially, it's been designed to have been a quiet, inverted case. Yes, it is quite niche, but the, uh, it's out there. Um, I love the fact that they've given it that lovely big uh, window as well, but you can get a version of it without, if you're just looking for something that you can have set up. Um, haha, apologies. Right, so uh, you can get a version of it without as well. Uh, first things first is you can put an AIO in the front. People may be saying that you could have got a big radiator down the front as well, but it's not really been designed and it doesn't particularly have the layout for a big water cooling setup anyway. It's just been really designed, like I said, for something that is inverted, but really cool and, but most importantly, quiet. Uh, so you do have those options there. There's ample airflow in the main chamber. You do have the optical bays, although I still say that most of you aren't gonna use them. Um, and it's something that I'm gonna take quite a passion about as well, because I don't think that optical bays are really needed nowadays. 
either. Uh, and uh, if you're wondering how you can get around it with your games and stuff like that, that's fine, because you just use Steam and Origin and all that type of thing. If you use Blu-rays, nah, yeah, okay, you've got a slight point there, but to be honest with you, I keep most of my stuff in a digital nature anyway. But without ranting on too much about it, uh, you've got the option there if you need it. But the good thing about it, if you don't need it is it doesn't scream and shout the fact that it's there. It is a very understated uh, bay there. So uh, the, all the vents are on the side. It's got a really nice slick look to it. Um, you've got the fan controller built in should you want to use it as well. And it does actually work pretty well because it's tuned for the fans that come with it. Talking about the fans that come with it, the ones in the front and in the back, as I've shown you, when they came uh, out the box, the wires are in the top. I personally think that's just a tweak that Corsair need to just go, hello, factory, yeah, stop putting the fan wires on the top. Yeah, we know you don't use PCs, but we want them round the other way, please. Yeah, yeah, nice one, thanks. And that'll be it. And if you could do that, Corsair, that'd be brilliant because it would save people that don't necessarily know better uh, thinking that that's the way it has to stay or people that are just being a bit lazy and can't turn the fans around so if you can do that for them that would make you know pictures of these popping up online look that bit better because let's face it uh, when the end users the way that they uh, use them that's a really good a uh, advertisement for the product so if you've put the fan cables in the right way around perfect so nice door it's a shame about the H100 IGT, but it is a very specific problem. If you use the H100 IGT or any other 120 millimeter based uh, cooler in the bottom, then you're not going to have any worries and you can still have a little bit of uh, movement and be able to turn it around so the hose is around different ways. It's just this exact one. And the difference is, is the end tanks are different uh, sizes on either end. Uh, and we obviously need it a little bit further away from the back because of the hoses. And there's just not the adjustment with it the opposite way around to be able to bring it around this way. Um, so a very, very specific problem, but it's a problem that I picked up on because sod's law, this is what I decided to use. So I just thought I'd share that with you. It does go in. Uh, you've obviously got uh, ample room up here with all of your um, uh, PCI slots at the back, so you can get your uh, SLI in should you want. And there's obviously, because of the fans in the front, you're going to get some good airflow over these as well. Airflow was good and quiet as well. Uh, I do really like the understated nature of this, properly do, and like I said, because it is so understated and stuff, it's one of those ones where I would personally spend a little bit more time on the inside, making things maybe pop a little bit more and make it a little bit nice and tidier. Uh, my only real gripe, and it is a gripe, uh, for me personally, the cables that uh, come off of the I.O. at the top were what I would call standard length. So they, they could go down the bottom of the motherboard and they would reach that far. But when the motherboard's the other way around, a lot of them I thought were much longer than they needed to be. So that's my only proper nick you know, and pick at it, is I would have made those cables significantly shorter so that they would have been happier up this end of the board rather than you know down this end of the board. They could have saved themselves a little bit. And that's really the only big gripe. So, uh, yeah, that's it really. Um, I'm going to leave that one with you. As I've said, $119.99. Uh, it's going to be available very shortly. And I gave it the OC3D Gold Award. Very niche market, but like I said, I like it and I can see projects in this. And it's when I like something and it makes me go, ooh, 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 that then makes it stand out that little bit more for me. So, brilliant little case, loved it. Nice tidy rig in there as well, very understated. And for those of you that would prefer your rig around the other side of the room, bosh. So, <laughs> this is Tiny Tom Logan in a rather silly mood this afternoon with another video for you, out. Ding! Did you get the t-shirt reference? Hey.